Okay, today we're going to be looking at drawing the football using a cubic form. Initially we've got the drawing of the football here and uh, basically what we do is we've initially drawn some contour lines uh, over the football in a previous lesson going this way as you can see just using linear uh, mark making and what we can do is basically uh, use tracing paper to establish where the contour lines are and draw through on both sides of the paper front and back what we do is we draw the contour lines on here going one way and then the other way and with a sharp uh, the biro press down on these construction lines here giving us a grid in the sense that we've got a grid for the various contour lines of the football this gives us a nice template for when we're going to establish our cubic forms. Now you can see here both sides of the uh, tracing paper have been drawn on, you've got drawing on the other side as well. So what we're going to do is get a perfect impression. If you do it on one side you will not get the same effect, especially if the uh, letter forms are inverted. So basically both sides will give you the right balance and then we'll draw it down here pressing quite hard so the pencil on the other side comes through and as you can see that will happen you get a nice contour line grid like so and what we're going to do with that is because we've got the grid established and some of the boys who struggle uh, to basically use the cubic, cubic shapes we can then basically have uh, a small template and this is the template here which I've established as you can see with small cube, cuboids uh, drawn out following the contour lines what we can do then is basically try to establish where they fit now what we're going to do is not make it so easy but have the point here at the top established uh, the cuboids are there so what you can do either both sides again drawn on and what we can do then is to find out where these lines uh, and cuboids will, will occur which will correspond to the contour lines we just established here so you can see that side will be probably right on here it doesn't quite fit so we've got that side there you can look around here and try and prefix and that side will fit there now what we can do then and both sides again have been drawn on with the cubes and what we can do is probably beam in here just have a quick look at what's going to happen uh, let's just go right inside like so and again what we do we establish the top point of the, of the football there and we can now, with our biro, on both sides again, this grid have been worked on, we can actually start to draw in some of these small cubes here, pressing down quite hard with the biro, so the pencil on the other side will come through, and just giving us a, a, a small guide and if you struggle it's very difficult to complete a cuboid sketch in, this, in the sense of Michelangelo and Jura because you will need a guide and basically just trace trace through here you can see there and I'll beam out again as we go taking it away and you can see some of the uh, grid has come through there. You can see we draw on top of that. So just kind of slightly beam out again. And I've done it on the other side as well, just to establish where the cubes will go. And we press a bit harder here with the pencil. 
And it's a, it's a kind of shortened version to show you how to do the cuboids. And they are following the form of the contour lines as a guide. So we've got this one here, we've got over here, which I've pre-done already. You can see that the blocks are actually following the skeletal structure which we established using the contour lines, but you can see that there's a stronger sense of three-dimensional form because of the cubes. Having the three-dimensionality will follow the contour lines. And this is a small kind of guide. Now, what we don't want is students using them exclusively and not actually looking to try themselves to work where the cubes are going. So the small guide is fine, but then what you'll have to do is look at the cubes you've established and then, as I've seen here, try to uh, work out where the other cubes would go by visually looking at the small grid that you've established with the tracing paper and with the cuboids and kind of working out where the other cubes will go. And you can see the football is taking a different form to the contour line drawing. It's actually looking as though these cubes are actually coming all the way around and making the football look very, very three-dimensional. And in this sense, you know now that when you shade around these cubes, you can make them bigger here. As we establish where they are here. And you can see by shading the cubes in, we can actually begin to make this football look very, very, very three-dimensional indeed. So you go around here. And as I said, Drua Michelangelo would have produced similar drawings on objects, on bodies, still life artifacts, initially to find out where dimensional form would rest. You can see now in terms of the contour lines that we've established, this is a step further. This is making the football very, very sculptural. Now at the top you would probably use lighter marks to the centre. As I can see here you probably make the cubes a little bit stronger in terms of depth and the strength of your pencil lead, because this is nearer to you here, this bit's further away, and down here is further away, so you wouldn't make them so strong over here. So the shading initially in the middle part of the football, of the cuboids, would be slightly darker here. And fading away as you get further down. So it's a matter of adapting. See here, I'm going to make these cubes a little bit bigger. You can rub out. And you can see automatically here that the football has begun to take a sculptural aspect to it. Okay, that's the end of the demo.